the girl, because guys don't have eyelashes. No. But, um, so, um, to make it a guy, you could do the eyebrow lower and farther forward because it sticks out even farther because testosterone just totally like mo like mutates bodies or something. I don't know. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, but like, you know, it kind of, the, the length between the eye and the eyebrow, I think because the bone comes out here, it ends up translating itself more like horizontally rather than vertically. And I think that's why guys' eyebrows are lower. But anyway, like people usually say make them thicker, but they're also lower and they go out farther. And then usually I try to make their eyes not as wide open. And then you can still make long eyelashes, but as long as you have like a really like like a pronounced nose and like really pronounced eyebrows <laughs> and Sorry. like some, some really <laughs> pronounced cheekbones, then it'll still look like a guy. Well, now that's not a very good drawing. Okay. <laughs> no, I can draw a better drag queen than that. <laughs> See, that's when you know that you can draw different types of faces is if you can draw a drag queen. That's when you know they, that's the test. So I want you guys, that's your homework. Oh, already have so. How do you these? Oh, that looks like a girl. I don't know anymore. Um, let's move on. What are some angles that you have a hard time with? Looking straight up. Like Looking up. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, this is a tricky one. Most people, when they do the straight up thing, they um, they make the chin go up, but you've got to really be looking up. Watch my chin, okay? Watch until it starts pointing up instead of down or the middle. Like, watch how far up my face is by the time that you actually yeah, see underneath my chin. The reason why is because the chin points down. It's not just straight across. And so, um, so if you're going to do a face that's looking up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw <coughs> this shape here, and, and instead of like a pointier bottom, I'm just going to make it a little more, I mean you can do that, but it's very rare, I rarely, rarely do it, and it's hard to render unless you do really black shading, or maybe when you color it you do so, but it's very hard to make it look good, and that's probably because you have to adjust things. So you put the ears really low, you taper this off, but it still kind of has a little point right there. And then you draw your cross really high up like this. Like that, and then of course this goes straight down the middle. So, what I do then is I just erase this part that I just drew, but it's in my mental memory, so. Which I guess all memories are mental. But. And then I draw these eyes, and they're like half moons, and, and if you look at my handout, I've got the eyes at several different angles. And I have this online, there's a link to it on the other side. And, um, and it teaches, I go like really in depth into every single eye angle and how you make it look like that. But anyway, so you've got like a half circle for the top eyelid and then it kind of goes across on the bottom eyelid. And I'll probably draw it as a girl. So you, the eyelashes on the top are gonna be really long because it's looking up, but you will barely see the bottom eyelashes. In fact, they will probably even go up if anything. And then the eye, I, um, the iris is going to be, like imagine the eyeball, right? It's going to be pointing up, so it's going to be like a thin sliver like this. So anyway, so you make it go up like this. And then the eyebrow is going to be higher than it normally is because, because um, like I said, it's poking out farther. And so you want to make it slow. Because eyes, I'm sorry guys, there's just so much to learn. So, But eyes kind of have their own little plane. They kind of go on this straight across plane almost. There's like a little deviation where the corner of the eye goes lower. But you don't draw the eyes like this when they're looking up. It's really kind of just like this. But with the eyebrows, they follow the shape of the forehead, which follows the shape of the head. So 
they're going to be going sloping downwards off of the sides. Does that make any sense? Yep. Okay, good. Oh, I never know. Um, so now we're going to draw the nose. I am just the nostril queen, right? So I just draw nostrils. Yeah, I'm the nostril queen. <laughs> <laughs> and with those, I usually draw them sort of like this, you know? Like, I don't know, little mountains of joy. <laughs> um, and you can have like the little guys right here. I think it looks kind of piggish. I think there's ways to do it. I just haven't learned how to render it that way. Like, so that's why I don't do it. <laughs> that's probably why all my guys look like girls or young. But anyway, so then with the mouth, before it was kind of like an M shape, right? But now it follows the shape of the face. In fact, it's even more extreme than the, here's the shape of the forehead, right? The shape of the mouth is even more pronounced. It's gonna, because your chin goes in more, right? Like it's got these sides here, whereas this is more circular. And so that means that the mouth itself, the corners of the mouth are gonna go pretty far down, like this, like they're almost frowning. But it will just look like a, just a non-expression, you know, if you do it right. And you just have the upper lip line and the lower lip line. And usually, by the time that I finish drawing the face, I think I'm gonna make the mouth a little bit lower. See, you just kinda, sometimes you just have to look at your stuff and notice when it's wrong. And see how you can change it, it takes patience, but. Um, sorry. And then, yeah, so lower lip, upper lip. And so sometimes when I finish the face, the face shape doesn't match up, so that's why I would keep that all light until you're done with it. See how I'm moving the chin up now? Because I realized that it was a little too low for her. And then the top where the forehead is, now her, you see now her ears are too low, so I put them a little bit higher so that she doesn't look like a monkey. <laughs> you know, actually, a lot of the way that you learn how to fix something is Tell, telling yourself what it looks like. Okay, so it looks like a monkey. Well, that's because monkey's ears are lower. So I've made them too low, I need to make them higher. You know, or if you do like an impression of something that's wrong, like, I want it to look like this, but it looks like this. And then you're like, okay, so I'm showing you gums too much. You know what I mean? So if you, if you think about it that way, it's easier to figure out what looks wrong to you. And so then with the forehead, it's just nice and round, Kind of, you still want to give it some space. Like I used to cut it off too much, but forehead still needs some space. And then you just, the hair, you're not going to draw much on the top. It'll be thicker on the sides, right? Than on the top because that's just, it's just not showing as much up there. So that's face up. What's another angle that you have a hard time with? Totally like side. Completely side view? Okay. That's a good one. A lot of people have a tough time with that. They do what I call deer head. 